Well, everybody, welcome to quarantine. Hmm. Ah, but you know what? Also, welcome to the end of March, which means I get to share with all of you the images that I have sold in the stock photography market this past month. Let's do this. Hey everybody, it is great to see you all again. I hope that all of you are staying safe, staying healthy, and staying home during these difficult times. That is the best thing that all of us can do right now is to follow what our respective governments are saying and stay home so we don't spread this infection. I want to keep things positive here, so I'm going to go ahead and continue the vlog as best as I can uh, from where I'm at. And I'll be honest with you guys, uh, the next episode actually starts the Hawaii adventure that I recorded a few months ago. So uh, yeah, hopefully that provides all of you a little bit, a little bit of an escape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the images that I've sold for the first time in the stock photography market. For those of you who are just joining this channel, one of the ways how I pay for my travel is through the sale of photography, and I do it on the stock photography market because it's just so easy to basically fire and forget upload it it's done and you just sit back and let the profits come in now just so we set expectations remember the stock photography world it's not a get with get rich quick scheme um, so what you're going to see here when we go through these images i start at the images that gained me the least commission and build up to the ones that got me the most then after these i'll show you the images that well, the big sellers for the month. So let's do this. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from me, I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I've done, now that we are apart, when I look at what I've won, I've come so far. I know I'm so much better. Now, not only did we get some images selling for the first time, we also got some footage that sold for the first time. Map is shaking but not stirred. Just a lesson that I've learned. And so it goes. Tables turn in your own.
So those were the images that I sold for the first time. But what about the big sellers? What about the ones that really got me some income? So this first image you're seeing, you probably have seen it before on these monthly episodes, is from my uh, sunrise photos, uh, sunrise photography at the Capitol episode. Now this is from last year, I think, July, August time frame, when I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, do some work in Washington, D.C., and I was able to get up and shoot a sunrise uh, with the U.S. Capitol. So this one got me $3.74 on Adobe Stock. So these next two images sold on Dreams Time, and let me tell you, it's been a while since Dreams Time has actually produced some great income for me, and I'm starting to see a little bit of a pickup on that platform, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I have a lot of content out there. These two images are from at least 15 years ago, and they both earned me a commission of $13. So the first $13 sale here, this one is from a place called Brown County State Park. It was a morning photo shoot. Found a nice puddle of water in front of a tree. You can tell this is very early in the spring before the leaves came out. This next image is also taken in Indiana in Brown County, just south of Nashville. Uh, so it's a, simply a morning photo shoot, the sun rising with the light passing through the fog, raising up out of the forest. Uh, very lucky to catch this, very lucky to find a place on that road to pull over to catch this particular image, but again, another $13. Thank you, Dreams Time. So the image that I got the largest commission on this month was on Shutterstock, and this is from my episode, Morning Drive in Prince Albert National Park. So I was fortunate, fortunate enough to get a three-day weekend uh, up in Saskatchewan. And I rented a car, drove up, got a hotel room up in the uh, in the actual park itself, and oh, it was just a beautiful, relaxing weekend. Even got to see a bear that morning, which is awesome. We're heading down the Narrows Road, and there it is, little black bear. Aww. This image, which personally I don't think it's that spectacular, but with a commission of thirteen dollars and twenty-five cents, I'll take it. Now here is the top footage image that I sold this month. It came from my drone and it came from my episode for the first flight of my DJI Mavic 2 Pro. So I was really happy to get this. This was a beautiful evening and incredible Arizona sunset that I was able to capture from about 400 feet above the Sonoran Desert. Just absolutely spectacular. So. How much money did I actually make in stock photography for the month of March 2020? Well, I gotta wait, because as many of you follow this channel know, Getty Images kinda holds back on its final numbers until the 20th of each month. So right now, on April 23rd, is tentatively when I'm scheduled to show you guys the numbers for the first quarter of 2020. Now, just to let you guys know, I kinda been on edge about this. Uh, for a few reasons. Number one, obviously the world is a little different right now and I wasn't sure how that's going to affect the stock photography market. Number two, last year, March, uh, was not a good month. It was, I think, probably my worst month of the entire year. Um, so, and number three, for the last 11 months, continuous 11 months, I have April of 2019 to now, I have been getting at least $100 or more per month. That has never happened before. So am I gonna have a full year of at least $100 or more sales? Well, you're gonna to have to click that subscribe button and make sure you tune back in on April 23rd to find out exactly how much money I made. Um, I will tell you this much, I made a bit more than I did last year. How much? Eh, we'll have to, we'll see. But anyhow, guys, seriously though, as this world continues to, to try and deal with what's happening right now, stay positive. So something that I'm doing is I'm looking forward to when this all ends. I'm actually planning what I'm hoping will finally be my retirement trip from the Navy. And I'm hoping to get more images like this.
So that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the images I sold in stock photography this month. Again, I'd appreciate a subscribe, a thumbs up, and of course a comment or two so that I can help or to help me grow this channel. And uh, well, hang on tight, guys, because Hawaii is next.